Learning Adobe Photoshop shortcuts drastically improve my projects, mainly because it saves me so much time. Here you can find 20 shortcuts you should master right now. Number one is the most obvious one, it's Ctrl plus S. You should already know that. Now in Photoshop, when your project is not saved, you can see this little star icon on top of your project. Once you save, the icon goes away. Number two, duplicate layers. In the layer panel, you can duplicate a selected layer by pressing Ctrl plus J. Number three, creating a new document. This is done by pressing Ctrl plus N. Number four, opening up the transform properties. On a selected layer, hit Ctrl plus T to transform the layer however you want. Number five, closing one of your documents. To do that, press Ctrl plus W. Number six, merge multiple layers into one. Select them by holding Ctrl and clicking them. Then hit Ctrl plus E on your keyboard. There you go, shortcut number seven, creating a new layer. Simply hit Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus N. Now you can use the brush tool or whatever on this new empty layer. Number eight, adding a hue and saturation layer. Hit Ctrl plus U on a selected layer. Then do your adjustments and click on OK. Boom. Number nine, grouping layers into a folder. To do that, hold Ctrl and select the layers you want. Then hit Ctrl plus G. Now to ungroup them, hit Ctrl plus Shift plus G on your keyboard. Shortcut number 11, zoom in and out on your canvas. Simply hold down Ctrl and use the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you don't have a mouse, shortcut number 12 will help you. Simply hold down Ctrl Control and use the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out. Number 13. Hold down the space bar to use the hand tool. You can now click and drag your canvas without having to worry about moving layers. Number 14. Opening up the export window can be done quickly by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus W. Once it's in your fingers, this shortcut does wonders. Shortcut number 15. Fill a layer with the foreground color. By the way, in the toolbar, you can set a foreground and background color to your liking by clicking them. To fill your your layer with the foreground color, hit Alt plus Backspace. Shortcut number 16 will show you how to fill a layer with the background color. To do this, hit Ctrl plus Backspace. Shortcut number 18, swap between background and foreground colors. Simply use X on your keyboard. This is useful when you're using the brush tool. To reset the foreground and background colors to default, hit D on your keyboard. They will be black and white again. Shortcut number 20 will fit your canvas to your screen. Hit Ctrl plus Alt plus zero to do that. Next, you want to learn the full potential of Adobe Photoshop's generative fill and you can do that in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.